before you start mixing, you need to make sure you have your drum. Um, you need to make sure your drum is wet. So get the hose and spray it, especially at the top, and then along the walls. All of the walls need to be wet. And you can get the bath if needed. You will have excess water in the back of your drum, and you do not want this during the mixing. So you can lower your drum and empty out all of the water. All right? So now the inside of the drum should be wet, and we can add the coarse aggregate, then the fine aggregate. And the other thing you want to add at this time is half of your water. OK? Now make sure that if you were doing that air and train admixture, that air and train was already in the water, or you have it at this point. Once we're set, we can plug it in. You want to make sure that it runs for about 30 seconds to one minute so that all of it is more homogenous inside of the concrete mixer, meaning that the sand and the coarse aggregate is pretty well dispersed. So at this point, we are going to add the cement. When all the cement is in, we are going to add all of the remaining water and any other chemical admixtures you have. Mix it now for three minutes. When your three minutes is up, you will let it rest for another three minutes. While you're waiting, it's, it's a good opportunity to do some of the other tasks you need to do later on. First, you can clean off all of the tools and get them wet. And you want to get things like your slump cone to be pre wetted and also, especially your unit weight bucket. The other thing we need to do before we start it up again is we will need to scrape the back of it or make sure all of the concrete is off of the back wall, especially. You can use like a spatula or a tool and you wanna to get to the back of the drum. Like I said, get all of the stuff off of the back wall. So that you can see there's a spindle in the back. All right, you want to make sure you can see that. And if needed, you could also clean off the blades a little bit. All right, and if you need to rotate it, manually rotate the drum. If you think you did a thorough job and it's been your three minutes, we can now mix for one additional minute. Your concrete should be mixed, again, kind of homogenous in terms of it should look very dispersed. 